Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell to like this video. That helps me keep making videos. I'd appreciate it majorly. Peanut. Yo. So, um, well, you know, I just have found this craziest thing on Peanut. So, um, you know, I just wanted to show it to you. I couldn't show you me actually doing it. You know, I didn't want to, you know, pulling it out of him because I just said, there's just no way I had him down in a certain position and you know, it wasn't that easy to get him, get him like that. And he let me, you know, I didn't even know it was in there. You know, that's part of it too. So, um, but just want to show it to you. This is sort of after the fact. So here it is. Dude, I just took that out of my dog. I have no idea what that is. And obviously I'm going to find out. But I literally just took that out of my dog that was completely submerged under his skin. He's had like a cut that formed into a lump. I thought he had cut himself on the fence trying to get out. But I literally just slowly squeezed that out of his, his, out of his, his belly, his tummy. There was a lump. I just can't believe what uh, what what just came out of there. Unbelievable. I mean, it's like one of those uh, worm things, but I don't think that is. That's I have no idea what that is, dude. I'm gonna put it in a jar and find out though, just so he's okay. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I just squeezed that out of peanut. Come here, peanut. I had no idea it was there was anything in there. I've been like putting Neosporin on it because I didn't want it to get infected. And uh, Peanut really trusts me now. I mean, he let me do it. He bit me a few times, but I kept seeing this white thing. Like, I'm like, is that just pus? But it kept backing up as soon as I like touched it. I'm like, is that him flinching? Or is that thing, is it something that's, I, you know, I thought I was just imagining that it was something alive. He's not going to let me turn you over and show him. You okay? Hey, you're better now, man. That's, I don't know if you can see. Right there. I'm so glad I got it out, man. I'll find out what that is. You know what? I, uh, I, we brought him in the pool yesterday. He hates the water, hates it. And, uh, we brought him in the pool yesterday. You know, I, I brought him in there. When I let my daughter bring him in there just so he would get cleaned up a little bit. And, uh, you know, because of the chlorine and stuff um, for to clean that, you know, if that cut was getting infected or whatever. So, you know, and I think that might have helped. Um, just loosen it up. Just the water, you know, osmosis has a way of when things are building up of letting it you know, burst. I mean, I, I, I don't know. So. Going? Yeah, he's getting cold. I don't know if that is like one of those worms you find when you're like planting things. I forget what they're called. Um, or if that's some kind of larvae to something else. 
Holy moly. I mean, it just was like sticking out a little bit. I thought it was like, I thought it was, you know, just squeezing out a cyst or something, and it just kept coming. I mean, believe me, I wish I would have filmed it, but, you know, I had Peanut in a position where he was letting me do it, and I needed to get it all out. You know, believe me, there was moments where he, you know, he was really, you know, um, I don't know what it was doing to him. I don't think that thing bites. I have no idea. Nasty. So glad I got that out, man. I had no, I had no idea it was in there. I just thought it was there's a little slight infection in his belly because I thought he got jabbed by the chain link fence, you know, like one of the tie offs at the chain link fence in the corner of the yard where he likes to try to squeeze out. See, right there. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Right there. It was right in there. You know, you are such a good boy. See the little hole? It was right little in there, and that like white head was sticking. You're such a good boy, Peanut. Sticking out of there just a little bit. And anytime you would touch it, it would crawl back in. See the hole? See the hole? And I don't know if that thing just burrowed its way into there after the fact, probably. You know, it made a home in there, or what? And I just put some Neosporin on there. See the hole? Crazy. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Wow. You can't, I mean, it was just coming out little by little, and then all of a sudden it finally all came out. I was shocked to see, see, and then I, you know, because I thought it was like a little cyst or something, and I saw it moving. I'm like, is that alive? Crazy, dude. I mean, that's how I found it. I was putting Neosporin on. I just put a little bit more on there. You know, uh, this stuff is the greatest, man. I mean, we, for, for us, we, you know, it does such a good job healing things, you know. It's got some kind of antibiotic in it or whatever. So, I just put some on, but that's how I found it. Crazy. So, I think, I think this thing here is what it's, it's called a bot fly larvae, in, larvae, you know, larvae in dogs. And basically, I think that's it. I think it's, and look at the hole, like this one right here, that's very similar to the hole in Peanut. And it's basically, um, it's a maggot, you know. It says, dog flies become, and dogs become infected with a bot fly larvae when they, when they come in contact with a blade of grass that has a maggot on it. And uh, the dog's movement against the blade of grass stimulates the maggot to crawl onto the dog. The maggot then crawls around on the dog until it finds an orifice in which to enter, which is what I think, you know, that cut, I believe he cut himself on the fence and, uh, and that's what happened. My only, my concern is what I'm, I just want to make sure there's no more in there, you know? And so, but I think he's going to be okay. I'm going to research it a little bit more. And I think it's just the one, you know, I don't, I don't think maggots can reproduce. And I doubt that two maggots crawled into the same orifice, you know, two, I doubt and uh, so that's my concern is that there's more than more than one. I think he's good though. I think I'm good. Peanut, you definitely deserve uh, a, little, a little goodie for sure. Such a good boy, man. Just laid there pretty still for me, you know, and let me do it. And uh, if he didn't, I wouldn't be able to get that out. All right, all right, all right. Just relax, just relax. All right, there you go. You deserve it too, big time. Such a good boy. That's it. You already ate the whole thing? Come on. Hey. Good? Yeah, that's a good boy. He's doing better, man. He, I can feel. All right, all right, all right. It's already gone down a little bit, that lump, where it was burrowed in there. So I think, you know, I think he's going to be okay. I do. And he was just eating his food, so he's pretty good. All right, Peter? Good boy. There he goes. I'm gonna go see that thing I put out in the shed just a sec. So nasty, dude. I'll find out what that is. I don't think that's a grub worm. I think that's something else, man. But I'll find out. 
It looks like one of those things like they used to they stick in the ears of the guys in Tar Star Star Trek, you know, to like to uh, to make them like you know tr uh, turn on Kirk. Just want to be thorough, man. You know, and uh, we uh, I, we just caught peanut. Just want to make sure. I don't see anything growing in there. There's a fly. That's that's. You know. Dude, this is part of the investigation, okay? You know, it's important. And uh, I don't see anything growing in there, so. I think we're good. This is over. This is where I think he he was skitting out. You know, he just kind of goes to here. No, I don't know where he was doing it. See, what I, my idea was that, you know, he cut himself on one of these things or. Like one of these things right here, okay? Like that. But I don't know. I'm just not sure how he cut himself. It could be anywhere, dude, along this fence. So, I think it's the one larvae, you know, that was a maggot that just climbed up into his cut, and I think we're cool. Sorry about the poop. That's it, there, right there, Peanut. That nasty thing was in you. So, Peanut definitely seems to be feeling better, you know, and uh, this, the lump, the lump, uh, the lump, he probably smells himself, I don't know, uh, is, is shrinking on his tummy, so uh, we seem to be good, I think. But that's still it, it's still moving. All right, Peanut. And, uh, is he he's just trying, he, think, he just wants the Tupperware thing. But believe me, that's still, it's still, it's still moving in there. Um, I assume it will eventually die, but, or I don't know if that'll turn into a fly or what. I know a maggot will, but since it became this larva, I don't know what happens to it then. Dad, did you poke holes in it? Or yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I mean, it's still moving. Can you see it in there? It's so nasty, man. That's disgusting. You see it? That's you see it moving? That is so gross. It's nasty, it is. Oh, he, he has it open right in front of Peanut. So nasty. <laughs> All right, well, but that uh, that was success, I think. You know, to get that out of there, believe me, I'm so glad. And hopefully, he'll hear. I'll keep putting some Neosporin on it. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. See you in the next video. Later, man.